Hey everyone, Matt Waldman with the RSP Boiler Room. This week's short episode is on Braxton Miller, the Ohio State wide receiver who's just completed his first year at the position after converting from quarterback for the Buckeyes. Um, Miller has done an excellent job of making the transition thus far as a collegian, and when he went to the Senior Bowl last week, he looked really good. And, you know, when I say really good, he was a physical presence. He was athletic. He showed that he could hold his own or beat some of the best athletes at the college level as a wide receiver. He showed a lot of fire and competitiveness in his game, and he certainly earned some accolades for that work ethic and practice. So his stock is going to probably go up because of what he's shown thus far. He's a great athlete. He still has to learn to become a technician, and I do think he's raw at the position though he is going to he will continue to improve and I'm going to show you one of the areas where he was really raw in his first game ever as a wide receiver this is a deep route this is a, a really a deep corner route from the seam up the right hash here and we're going to watch him get open and then the ball appear to be overthrown now when you watch that we're going to watch it maybe one more time here see this route gets a nice little release to the outside and all he's able to do is slap at the ball with his fingers at the end of this play you know you could say this ball was overthrown but I don't think that's really the case let's watch it one more time in slow motion from this angle and I think what you're gonna see is the little things add up so we start with the release Now look at the steps. These are rather short steps off the line. We're going to watch it one more time. Very choppy little steps as if he's really being conscious about how many steps he's taking. You know, as if it, maybe he's still counting his steps. Not really being aggressive about setting up this defender where he is going to make contact with them. If anything, it looks like he's trying to avoid contact. And he's also conscious about timing this little move at the top where he gives the nice head fake inside and breaks outside and then he gets that separation but these short steps matter to me because we saw this with Devonte parker who was a much more polished receiver than miller last year who he wasn't able to get good separation on routes that would break back to the quarterback because he took these short steps off the line hoping that he didn't have to encounter contact at all and if the defender made contact, then he would react to it. But a good football player, regardless of offense or defense, is one who is always the aggressor. And part of being the aggressor of a wide receiver is taking it to the defender. And doing that begins with pushing up field and really selling a vertical route. So you want to get the defender really worried about how hard you are traveling off the line of scrimmage to get him to turn his hips. And that sells the first part of the play. Then Miller could make this head fake. And if he's going at full speed, he's going at a longer stride that's more innate to how he runs, this quarterback's going to bite even harder to the inside. Miller's already going to be further downfield, at least a step or two downfield instead of taking these short steps. So what I'm showing you here is that Miller has already costed himself a couple of steps on this route with these choppier steps right there and then that inside out fakes good enough because he is still very quick but while he has a couple of steps on the defender here the ball's already in the air the ball was in the air well before this point this is where he's letting go of the ball and Miller's even Miller would have been about two steps ahead if he didn't chop him so lightly here in the stem. So I would say Cardale Jones made an excellent throw, but Miller, with that initial stem, wasn't able to get the depth that he needed on this route. And then we're going to look at it from the next angle, and you see that he kind of loses track of where the ball is, which will additionally slow down his route. He looks inside out with a nice little lean. He looks over the wrong shoulder for the ball. Now, if he's expecting 
a throw to the inside, that'd be one thing. But based on the coverage, he'll learn that based on this coverage type, the ball should be coming over the opposite shoulder. And the fact that he's looking over the wrong shoulder and he's not expecting to break to the opposite shoulder, this whole process slows him down at least a step. So we're talking about at least three steps that Miller loses in this route. And he's still able to slap his hand on the ball. So if we look at maybe three steps, I think three steps is about right here. He'd be catching this ball in stride. So it's not an overthrow by Cardale Jones. It's just not a well-run route by Miller, who won on his athleticism more than he won on his craft and guile. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Film Room videos, check out my YouTube channel at the RSP Film Room. Check out also my uh, blog at www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.